Hey everybody, Charlie here. Welcome back to Gunsmith. I want to produce things much, much faster. I have a suspicion. And I don't know if this is right, but... I got a suspicion that using only one of these boxers is slowing these things, things down. I mean, we are kicking out boxes pretty quickly, but I don't know if this is the right way to go about it. Like, is one boxer actually able to box all of this stuff in a timely manner? I mean, I'm seeing the supplies go up, and then they go down, and then they go up, and then they go down. And I'm wondering if, like, like how many of these backpacks are in a box, right? I don't know. But I know that we're not getting them very quickly, and I can't satisfy the orders. We are producing, we're overproducing gloves, underproducing uh, the finalization of the vests, right? The camo vests, we still have 1,900 in storage. So, I want to get another boxing machine. I have spare power, and uh, I want to use this boxing machine to just get some extra boxes going and fill some extra orders. So, I'm going to put a belt right here, and uh, I'm going to put something here. I'm going to put something here and here, right? And even like, I think like this. We're gonna take a sewing machine and go like that. This, all this stuff needs to go through two sewing machines, right? The vests, the gloves need to go through one, but the gloves are already going through and honestly, we're overproducing them anyway. But we're getting a little bit of spillage though because this is just messy. But it's the vests and the backpacks that I really wanna look at. And the vests and the backpacks need sewn twice. So I want to investigate that right now. So let's come over here. Now I want, first thing I want to know is can I add, can I add these to any other machine station? I can add it to you. Just like that. That's pretty beautiful. Let's do that. Uh, we got some boxes just stashed over here they just get like blown up and spread around the factory okay so with all these things on turn the boxing machine on turn the sewers on and now i want to dispense camo vests here and here and i want to dispense backpacks here and here because there's so many of them and we're not doing anything about it. Let's stagger these just a little bit. And we're just gonna turn them on one at a time. So we're gonna go boom, 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 boom. With the hope that this extra, well, hold on. Let's make sure they're not pushing each other off. Let's pause you. Turn you back on. I want you to fit right into there. Yeah, I gotta slow it down. If I can get it to fit right in that little gap, that'd be good takes like what two seconds right so I think I actually have to time it about like that pretty close but now the hope is these boxes are gonna get kicked down just as these ones are but the other hope is we can now get other products pushed through this boxing machine and if not like whatever we'll just get another boxer and honestly I'm thinking we probably will just get another boxer so why don't we move all of this I'm just going to move this over here. And uh, I'm going to I'm actually going to put it right uh, here. Like right here. Wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Not really the best utilization of the space. Actually, what I should do is probably get this out of the way. Let's hoover all of this. Get all this off the floor. I just want it to mesh in. To this little extra space here. Because we got this extra space we're not using. So I want to just kind of go about like that. All right? And then we'll just turn this on. Turn these two sewers on. And then turn these dispensers on. And actually, you know... Oh, never mind. They're, they're mixing in right now. That's fine. I was going to say, if we actually turn all these on at the same time... Let's shut the line down. 
we turn all these on at the same time, they won't collide with each other. They should all kick out at the same time. Yeah. It's perfect that way. Well, okay, never mind. Because they're spaced out enough to where they'll run into each other. Okay, I'm sorry. I guess I'm wrong. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Whatever. I think you should go in right here. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Hopefully that means we can sell products a lot faster. It also means that we're going to be boxing things way faster. So we're going to run out of storage space even faster. But as long as we can stop the vests from being a bottleneck constantly, I think this is a win-win. Because the vests are always a bottleneck for me. The other thing I'm looking at here, and I'm not liking, is like... There's no orders for ammunition. Like, how am I supposed to fill them? The orders. There's there's no orders here for ammunition anywhere. You know? I don't know how I'm supposed to, like, do, like, sell. How am I supposed to sell it? I'm going to end up putting a whole bunch of money into making it and not be able to sell it. You know? That part kind of sucks. It, also, I'm going to service uh, stuff to the Russians and stuff. But as long as I'm serving more stuff... To the United States and our allies, I th the reputation will keep going up. It's already almost 300 now. Let's box all these up. Now the boxes will uh, really populate themselves here, right? But the two extra boxers being right here, if we're ever over capacity, hoovering is all done in the same spot. So I, I like that too. All right, let's hoover this up too. Okay, let's move this over here because we have more work to do over here, folks. Did you think the bullets were going to be that easy? Oh, 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 no. No, they're not. Because we need to shake them. I totally forgot about the shaker. This is a thing that exists. Waste shaker. Prerequisites, belt tier two. I'm actually not sure if there's a reason to use the belts tier two. But we're going to see. Because, like... Like, what's the, what's the cause? What's the reason for... Needing to have an elevated belt in this game. I assume it's because of the, the splitter, right? The the cross split one. It probably requires me to lift it up into that thing and then angle it down. I think that's probably the only reason for those belts. So unless I'm crossing the streams, quote unquote, and maybe I should because we can have some bullets going over top and then some bullets going underneath and they're all going to their respective stations. That might be something we need to do. I also don't know how big the shaker is. So there's a good chance that all of these need to go away. And that these machines here need to like hug this. So what I'm going to do is just kind of this. Because I think there's a pretty good chance that this is what needs to happen. Why can't you go there? That's a little annoying. Is it like... Do we need to hoover something? Like, what's going on here? It's just the way this thing is shaped. That's annoying. Okay. Well, I might need to move this move this back then. That's also inefficient. Don't do that. So basically, it's just this. I'm pretty sure the shaker is gonna be big. Like it's a bit. It sounds like a big machine. You know. Serve those orders. Are we? Uh, are we boxing them faster? We actually don't have a single order available right now. For... I think I'm just going to accept everything at this point. Well, not the boots. I don't want to... I'm not going to do anything with boots. Yeah, look at all these orders. Okay. Somebody wants 50 cal. I guess. Just take all the orders. Not the 50 cal. And uh, anything with boots, we're just going to get rid of it. We have plenty of orders for other things without setting up another logistical nightmare. Okay, good. We don't need any more skews, is what I'm saying. Service that, service that. Now we're up to almost half a million bucks. Uh, sorry. Waste shaker done, good. 460. So, let's see what the waste shaker... Okay, I figured that was going to be... Whoa, wait. Wait. 
Oh. Huh. Speaking of. We were just talking about the, we were just talking about you. <laughs> so I need the elevated belt for this. That's to get them up in there. And then they drop in like there. Okay. Well, how about we do this then? Let's organize this. Sorry. Uh, repeat that. Thanks. Let's organize this to be more this direction instead. It gives me a little bit more room to work with on this side. Extruded bullets. So what we want to do here is follow the cookbook, obviously. And the bullets extruder is here. It comes through here. Then it needs to be heated and then cooled rapidly, right? Heated and cooled. And that will uh, make it hardened, right? It's, it's hardening the bullets. So why don't we have it go like this? Sorry. We're going to heat it up rapidly, cool it down rapidly. I kind of want it to just sort of zigzag. It's just a, it's just like, I want to see it happen sort of thing, right? I just want to see the product. Let's give me this, give me this belt. Oh, come now. Actually, I need to come out this way. Yeah, the only reason I'm doing it this way is just so I can see the product. It has nothing to do with efficiency. This is what I do on this channel, guys. I do it because I want to. That is the only reason to ever do something the way I do it. It's to do it because you want it. Okay, then you have to come up into the bullet shaker. The shaker will then bring them back this direction. And now I have this thing where I need to get them in here. So I need to rotate this whole thing again. But that's okay because we have this tool. And it's going to let us do it. Rotation. Look at this. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's almost like... It's almost like I, I wanted it to be this way. It's like I did it on purpose. Okay? You may think I didn't, but you know what? I did. So look how it zigzags with this machine. You never even saw it coming. Do you see how it zigzags with this machine? I told you. <laughs> I have a plan. Uh, so what I want to do, unfortunately, that plan is, the plan is a little bit wrecked, unfortunately, but it's okay. Um, let me just take a quick look and make sure I got every step of the process done here. So we take out the rollers. Now this is way too many rollers. We're also going to want to split these into multiple machines here. Um, because like these, they're going to build up a supply, like the brass sheets. There's already 140 in here. So, like, it's gonna build up a supply. I'm thinking we probably only need one of these. So, like, we'll use these dispensers for other kinds of bullets, I guess. Let's fill these orders before we start having boxes everywhere. Yeah, ACP bullets. Not that we can actually make them. That's for China, though. 17, though. I'm just gonna go like this. Grab every order I can. These guys want 9 millimeters, so we're starting to get some orders for bullets. We just have to start making them. And I, I, I want to get this test process, and then I'm going to lock this design down, you know, and then template it, and then just repeat, and adjust what kind of heating levels we're doing, right? And I'm only doing, again, I'm only doing the belts like this, so that I can see them. Although, admittedly, now I can actually go like this. And just move this. Actually, I probably don't even need that. I can just do it like that. There we go. Alright, we gotta be a little bit efficient. Move this over here, because we'll probably use it later. Alright, so the brass dispenser comes in. Whole, uh, it gets punched into bullet shapes, I guess. Uh, it gets extruded. Heat, level 2. Cooling, level 2. So it hardens it. Let me just double check that that is the formula. Goes up to two, and then bring it from two to zero. Shake it free of waste. Then it goes into the capper, which is right here. And then the capper in four, right? This requires the gun cotton, right? 
So up until this point, they just get shaken. But now, see, this is saying we need, needs to be hardened level two. Heat at level two and then cool it down to zero. Got it. That's what we're gonna do. But it needs to be shaken first. So that's, that's why it wasn't gonna work. Gun cotton is here. Now, we have 1,700 in storage and we're still making more. But this is also gonna dispense way fast. So what we kind of wanna do here is figure out how many machines, like this arrangement isn't gonna work efficiently. It's mostly like my test to see how it works because I don't know how it works. But it's not gonna be efficient because some of these machines take two seconds. This entire process here is very nice. But like this dispenses every four seconds and this takes two seconds to make things, but this is dispensing every two seconds. So I, I think this is okay, actually. Wait, because if it dispenses every four seconds, and this takes four seconds for the process, and this takes two seconds for the process, as long as I can push bullets through here, as long as I can push them in here once every four seconds, then this should just, once every two seconds, it should just work, right? Let me move this, in case it's bugging anyone. Uh, like that. All of this stuff. Can I move all of these things? Like that. All right, so the real question also here is, can they get to this machine to repair it right now? And I'm kind of thinking they can't because of the way that's shaped. Um, yeah. All right, here's one thing we can do then. Let's take this belt away. We'll just have this slide directly in. And then what we can do is we'll flip this around. There we go. Then we will... Uh, whoops. Do that. Have this little belt feed into there. Have this one feed... Ah, oh, come on. You and your weird shapes. You and your weird shapes. I still want to see it come out of the machine. Like, I'm not going to give that up. So I'm just going to do it this way, even though it's not efficient. But this lets, this lets the mechanic back in here, which is what I wanted to do. Okay, so we've, we've gotten rid of a few belts here. That's good. It's not going to be very efficient, but I just want to see if it works. So why don't we go ahead and turn this line on? We want to make sure that we're all connected. This one station is going to take care of this entire process. Turn the shaker on into, into, with it, too. And... I think we're good to go here. Let's disconnect these two stations so they don't turn on. And then we're just going to go ahead and turn the whole line on. At least I thought we were. Oh, it needs more power than we have. Really? Where did we lose the power? Oh, I turned the other boxing machine on and stuff. That's why. Speaking of which, how about we, uh, you know sell some product. <laughs> I hate that I have to keep doing this manually, too. They need to add a, uh, like a sales manager or something that will manage the orders for you. So, and, right, you can have, like, a marketing team or, you know, yeah, sales managers that will go out and attempt to seek out orders for stuff that you have oversupply of. Right? They'll try to sell stuff. This is a good order, except it's for China. And I'm not necessarily making those bullets yet. Like, it's all for China. All the bullet orders are for China right now. But I don't... I think this is probably my least favorite part of this game. Honestly. Is the way the ordering system works. Like, the the having to manage them. I, I don't know. I don't like that part. I like the creative logistical part of it. But I wish I could have some other, like, staff manage that part for me. All right? Anyway, I turned the other boxing machine on. Which is why we don't have enough power for this. So I'm going to come over here. Drop more power in. I mean, we're obviously profitable. I mean, look at look at how much money we got. So let's head back this way. Now that I have the power, turn it on. I want to see it work. I want to hear it work. I want to feel it. Okay, so this is my problem here. I think having two of these is unnecessary. I'm going to turn off, turn off one for now. And let's see how one feeds. I think one 
one feeds 15 seconds plus the two seconds for output. That's 17 seconds. This takes 13 seconds for the entire process. So I believe without the second one, the supply that's built up in here will eventually go down and it will slow down production. But what I'm thinking happens here, and I don't know this, so I'm, I'm going to kind of watch it for a bit. This currently has 158. Okay. I want to watch the bullets go through the process. Oh, man. I was kind of hoping they'd be tiny little bullets. Like a whole bunch of little ones. That's pretty cool, though. It goes into the heater. <gasps> We're going in with it, guys. Dun, 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 dun. You want to see it up close? Here you go. They get shaken, I guess. Right? And they come into here. Along with... Oh. Is that a one-for-one? One? It's pretty close to one-for-one. One. And this goes through... Very nice. Of course, we can't see the process of them getting punched. It doesn't look like anyway. Yeah, they just kind of come out like that. Then they come into there. And they come out as a box of bullets. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Let me see the stock. Oh, yeah. There we go. I think we accept orders for bullets now. I don't see any reason why not. We can, we can easily do it, so. Anyone who wants 45, come on down. Now, we, we can also, like, we're going to figure out the, the most efficient way to make this, of course. Like, we're going to look at things and say, oh, here we go. It's for Russia, though. All the bullet orders are for, all the bullet orders are for the foreign countries. Like, what, is the, what does America fight with? Have we progressed to the age of laser beams? Or are we just hitting them with unkind words? What is this, guys? Let's go. Yeah, you want the mark? You want the pistol? Too bad I don't make guns yet. All right, I'll service your enemies then, if that's what it takes. <laughs> it says I don't have any in stock though. Oh right, I never boxed them. So the we need a new boxing machine, obviously. So uh, we're gonna go with a new end of the line, and we're gonna bring that over here. Yep. I just want this all to all the boxes to kind of end up in the same spot, right? And then we're going to have a boxing machine that needs to be... Where's the boxing machine? Where did it go? I see the end of the line. Where'd the boxing machine go? Wait. Am I just blind? Oh, it's over here. Oh, I see. Bullet boxer. Wait. Boxes bullets in their case before moving on to the final boxer. That's what you are. Yeah, yeah we're, we're good. So, we want this boxing machine. Here we go. Just like that. Yep. And then we're going to have a, a belt here. And a belt that goes like this. Now, I think for now, we'll just have it do ACP. So I don't think that'll be a deal. Um, is it this machine here? Output 45. Extruded. No, I want you to do the bullets. This box right here. If you output this into this boxing machine, I think it's going to box it for us. Yeah, it'll it'll box it here. Good. So, you need to connect this to a line. How about you? You can have these two things. How's that sound? Here you go. Power that on and power this on. And then we want to see how this works. Okay, so it's coming out on the line. Very good. Let's go ahead and just get rid of these two. We don't need that. And then we're going to slide you over just a tad. There we go. Turn you back on. All right. Now, the reason I'm setting it this way instead of just popping it right in there is because I want the ability to attack this with dispensers from this side and this side. Right? But the idea is all the boxing happens right here. So if there's ever any spill... I don't have to go hunting all around the factory to get all the spillage, right? All the chaos will happen right here, and I can just hoover it all up. That's my intention anyway. Uh, you know what I th probably need with all these machines that we have, though? I probably need more mechanics. I'm going to recruit two more mechanics, and we're going to set up a new route. And that route is going to make this mechanic kind of go around like this. And you're going to go around here. You're going to check out all these machines. You're going to say, hmm, 
These are some schmexy machines. Thank you for making me a part of your operation. You are welcome, sir. All the way over here. Right? Just check on things. And we could just call that good. I don't know. Save it. We'll put two mechanics on that route. So we should have some automated, like, taking care of our machines. I don't think it should be much of a problem anymore, you know? Okay, how many do you have in storage? 280. So this is too fast for one of these, as is. But I think if we have two of these, we can afford three of these. And with three of these going at crafting speed 10 seconds and output three, that's 13. This one here is three and three. So we can take three of these and output those three into this one. And then this is instant, this is instant, this is instant. This here is two and two, so very fast. This is gonna go through two and two. And the, yeah, this is actually perfect. These, this little here, this is perfect. This is all two and two. This is all two and two. So what I'm thinking is, this is what, I, this is what I'm thinking. We need to do this. If we wanna make a lot of bullets with this, what we need to do is this. We're gonna take this one that's off currently, and we're gonna pull it to the side. We would want to have um, three roll dispensers. No, it's two roll dispensers plus the three-way splitter. So we're gonna go in like this, all right? And then right now I'm just letting this roll go, but you have rolls anyway. So let's shut this off and we'll resituate this, okay? We should, I don't want to move any of the machines. I think the, the way the machines are right now is probably fine. So we're just going to let it keep making bu bullets. But we're going to add more, and all of those will then go onto the same line, right? So this will actually end up being like this. Right? Like that. Okay. Then we'll take this belt. Most likely... Yeah, most likely what we'll do is something like that. And I may need to move it over over more. I think I probably will. So we'll go like that. Then we have the one in the middle. Like that. Stoop it over and over like that. Okay. And then all we'll do is we'll have this one. Like this. Like that. And then like this. And like this. That's one tile of space. Perfect. So what we'll have then is we want two more bullet punchers. There and there. Each of you are going to produce 45. Right? And then I want this station to pick up these extra machines if it can. I'm hoping it can. So it'd be this one, this one, and this one. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. So now, if my theory is correct... First off, if my theory is correct, we're over power, but I just want to see. So if I turn this on, and turn this on, turn this on, turn this on, turn this on. All of it goes... Power's good. We are now able to make... We're now going to be able to make three times the bullets, hopefully. We're sending them out there on the nice little conveyor belt. All the way into this. Oh, yeah. Now we're building up supply here. So we might want a two-way. Ooh, do we need a two-way on this? I think we do. We could get a two-way on this. Bullet extruder. We're just adding on here. Here we go. So what we could do... Let's say we have a two-way on this. Let's say we go from here, right? Now, obviously, we're going to reposition this stuff. But for the time being, this is what we got. Um, and actually, I could butt this up right up against each other if I want to. Uh, I'm not sure I do. It's got to have a little space, actually. Okay. Uh, actually, you know, come to think of it, 
there's a better way to do this, I think. Well, <laughs> there's probably a better way to do a lot of things that I'm doing, but... Uh oh we got boxes on the ground? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, sell, 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 sell it. Sell it now. <laughs> Look at all the orders. We just fill them because we have t tons of boxes right now. Let's go ahead and hoover up the mess. See what we got. See, look, now I can see just from this one area, I can look at it and go, okay, so are we over shelves? Yes, we are. Okay, good. It, like, it's all right there in the same spot. I hoover it up and I clean it up. All right. And then we just take orders from everybody. Again, Russia with the AC, with the, with the 45s. But, like, honestly, if you guys don't want them, I'll sell them to whoever now. Because I'm making them. And if, uh... If I'm going to be making them, I want to sell them. This is 9mm. We're going to look at that. As soon as I have the 45 nailed down, we're going to look at that. And now we're starting to get orders for bullets. Excellent. Look at all these orders now. Uh, oh, 22. I can't do those. Uh, at least not yet. That one can we can service. That's good. And scroll down. Service that one. And like the glove orders can go. And then this one. We just sold our first bullets to the United States. Actually, is our second. China got our first order, but whatever. China gets the first things all the time. <laughs> so what I'm thinking here is we split this into two because this is actually building up a supply, right? So since these two things are instant and these are fairly quick, we're kicking this out in six seconds from this, right? But this is kicking out in four. So we can actually produce with double here. If we send these machines into this instead, that could work. So I think what I'm going to do here is shut down this, shut down the roll dispenser. Uh, we're going to shut down the splitter. Let's shut down the bullet punchers right now. So what I want to do with this is I want to redirect this belt outwards, I think. Let's pull this back. You're going to go that way. And then you're going to go into this. Like that. So all the bullets end up coming into this. Then, they get kicked out. Yeah, I have to have... See, that's the thing. I have to have that gap. I don't have to. I can do this. Hang on. I'll figure this out. Where's my belt? No spare belts. There we go. There. And then... Like that. See? It's just not quite even. You know? It's not quite even. So it needs to go like that. And then around. Yeah, see? It's not quite even. This is uh, a little bit of an issue. Just because the way these machines are lined up. Let's pull these back. And what I want to do, I think, is... Let's have you direct that way. You are going to direct that way. Then you'll go there. You'll go there. This is a very tight fit. But now what I want to do... I'm hoping... Uh, man, I don't think that's even either. I think this is a little bit off. Yeah, it is. It's just that little extra space, you know? I'm not sure how to solve that. I guess I have to go like this. But then... Is this going to line up? No. It's a little extra space. Uh, never mind. This will be fine. Because... This is a joint belt anyway. 
Yeah, like, whatever. This is a joint belt anyway. Okay, like that. Uh, we could scoot back, too. That's not... I'm not opposed to that. We just scoot back like this. And slide everything up. Like that. Right? Then we can get rid of these two belts. Yeah. Can you take extra machines? You can take one. So this thing is going to have to be on a different circuit. The splitter is going to have to be on somebody's, somebody else's watch. Here we go. You. Okay. So. I believe we're ready now. I think. Turn this on. Turn this on. This is going to do 45. You are going to turn on, turn on, turn on, turn the splitter on, and do the brass sheets. So, if we've done this right, we should be making a whole lot of 45. And then, goes through the splitter. We don't care about, like, which product goes where, because it's all the same stuff. It gets funneled into this, which goes down this line comes through the heater. Shit. Heater's on. <laughs> this is why we check our work, right? Heater's on. Then the cooler comes up the ramp into the shaker, and then it goes through this whole process again. All right? So this is our template. This is what I've been trying to figure out. I want a template for fast, effective uh, results. Okay? Okay. <laughs> And I don't know if it's the most... It's not the most efficient, right? I mean, we could easily... We could easily have, uh... You know, put these in recycle bins and put one dispenser this way, whatever. But, like, I like to see the bullets on the on the belts. I like seeing this. We could actually scoot these back further if we want to as well. But then it will crowd this. And I don't want to crowd that anymore. I'm good. We're good. That extra little power, I'll eat that power. It's fine. Right? Let's fix that machine. Not sure why my mechanics aren't fixing it, but... But there you go. There's bullets. I'm liking it. Bullets are done. And now we can sell a whole bunch of bullets, too. Hopefully. Russia wants bullets. Obviously. Germany. United States bullet orders here. Right? And then if we come over here... We're dispensing them as fast as we're making them. Right? So, it just keeps coming out. Every two seconds, we get another bullet order. So, we're not wasting any. We're not storing any. This is a perfect... Like, it's, it's we're making them exactly as fast as we're dispensing them onto the belt. Right? Adding another dispenser doesn't speed us up. So, that's what I want. I want that kind of workflow. Okay? And then it goes onto the belt. And everything is peachy. And then... We'll start making 9mm. Now, how do we make 9mm? Let's take a look at the cookbook really quick and see if there's any differences. The only differences I remember are the heating level. Everything else is the same, I think. 9mm bullets. Heating level. Everything is the same. Aside from the heating level. So, what we can do, right? Very easy. You know what's coming. We're going to take this, right? We're going to take all of this as a template. We're going to save this. And we're going to call this blueprint bullet production start. Okay? 43 parts in this. But we've got bullet production. And all we have to do now, with our $722,000, is go like this. I wish I could not have the thing. Like, why are the lights shutting off? I guess I could bring it over here. But I wanted to start making guns. We could do it here. I really wanted to start making guns. Uh, flip this. We could do it this way. We could do it this way. 
Maybe. Maybe. Why are you shutting the lights off on me? I can't see anything. I don't know which way is the most efficient for space. I don't know why it has to shut the lights off on me. It's so weird. Like, why? Just leave it. Leave the lights, please. Alright, we'll go like... This. Like that. Right up against the wall. I'm okay with it. It's fine. Unless they can't fix the machines, which they can. They can walk through here. They can get around here. You know. So then all we have to do to start 9mm production now is change two things. Move this and move this. And then we stick heating level 1. Uh, we can just stick it here. That's fine. And cooling level 1. We can stick it there. And that's it. That's that's it. Um, there's one extra thing, I guess. And that's a small little belt. Just to, like, push things in the right direction. But, like, that's the only change. It's, it's brass rolls still. Uh, we swapped this out for 9mm punch. Swap this out for 9. 9. Come over here. 9 extruded. Right? All the way around here. Change this out to 9 formed. Still gun cotton coming out of it. 9 primed. 9 topped. Output 9 millimeter. Hook it up to a station. Which can take everything except that... Uh, that splitter. So now I'm going to have you... Oh. Not you. You. You have one spot left. Take that splitter. Everything else... It's going to be managed by a whole new station. Right? So we'll grab this guy. Go back. Make a new station. Put this station over here, I guess. Right? He's just checking his, st checking his stuff out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm sorry, did I miss something? Oh, the shaker. 16. There we go. Okay. Now, all we need is more power. We need 248 more power. So head this way. And we grab uh, 248 power. So all we need is one. Yeah, that should be... Uh, oh, we're so close. It's okay. We'll do that. That gives me the capacity to turn this on. At least it should. It says it doesn't. 248. Oh, it's so close. Come on. It's so close. I need to drop 10 power somewhere. Which, like, I could. But we're making enough money to where I kind of don't care. Like, we could be more efficient, yes. But I'm just going to drop a couple power things to turn that on. So I want to see if that is making the 9 millimeters. Okay. Let's make sure all of this knows 9 mil. Yeah, it does. 9, 9. You're just shaking the waste out. Heat level 1. Let's take a look at the cookbook really quick. Make sure we didn't miss a step. Bullet punch. Extruder. Heat 1. Shake it out. Capiter. Primer. All the things. Good. And then, like, it might take a different amount of time. I think maybe let's 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 see. This is this is ten seconds and three, and then this one over here is ten seconds and three. You are three and three, and you are three and three. Excellent. You are two and two, 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 two and two. Two and two. All these things are two and two. Good. So, what I should see. Is 9mm bullets coming out of this. That's what I should see. This isn't on. Turn this on. <laughs> Good thing about the splitter, though, if, it's this, if the splitter's not on, the product will still get pushed through it, I think, so. Wait, why are we not getting brass sheets? Oh, we're out of brass sheets. Right, because I actually don't have the market guy managing my brass rolls. I don't have him managing that. Because that was like, it was like an experimental thing at one point. So... Now I need to set up automation for that. 
So, we're gonna go buy brass rolls. I might need to buy 200 of them. When our quantity is less than or equal to, let's say, 40. And the price, I don't, I don't know what the price currently is. So at the moment, I'm going to say less than or equal to 130. Let's go 140 and let's see what the price is right now. Price is... Okay, so it's 226 right now. 250 is the average. So I need you to evaluate price... Let's say 260. Okay. So now I should never run out of rolls. So let's take a look. Our 9 mil bullets. There we go. Isn't that nice? Look at all the machines running, working. Right? Then we have our patrol routes. Right? And we need to probably have a new route, actually. Let's have somebody over here looking at this stuff all the time. Just examining all these machines. That's your route, buddy. All these machines. I want you examining them all. And then you just kind of come back this way. That's your, that's your route. Save. Assign two people to that route. And then, just to make sure they don't complain about tools, we'll put a tool station back here. Like, right here. And then they can go get their tools back here when they want to. Now, I probably need more storage. Eventually, I will. Got a couple of boxes back here to, ho to Hoover. But, for now, I think we just, like, fill the orders. And then, we can also stack storage higher with research as well. Look at that. 700,000. Done. Done. We are cruising, guys. We are cruising, guys. I think it's time we take a look at actually making weapons now. Like, actually making rifles and stuff. Because that's where the real money is. Like, this order here, fill that order, get half a million. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Let's see what we can do with this. Come on back for the next one. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. You can share the series with your friends, family, neighbors, cousins, dogs, nephews, anyone, anyone you want to share it with, you can do it. I believe in you. That would help me out a lot, actually. Go go forth and do that, my minions. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just having a good time. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.